And welcome back, everyone, to Eat, Drink, Explore's Sunday Fun Day Show. It's now 949, and I'm your host, Randall White. Great to have you with us, as always, as we talk about all things food, wine, travel, and tourism. And we pretty much zero in on California for the most part, but sometimes we'll head uh, out of state. And it is uh, time for our weekly Explore California segment. We've been doing this since about mid-October and we'll continue to do it through the end of the year. Uh, it's our goal to give you ideas for enjoying yourself, or perhaps uh, with the holidays coming, some gift ideas that can be used by your friends. With big savings to you, that's right, we've teamed up with an organization that pulls together a huge range of activities here in California and beyond, some 1,800 different possibilities from which to choose. And any one of those you can have at 15% off if you just, uh, during checkout, use the three-letter code EDE. And as I understand, uh, some of our listeners have been doing just that. So uh, we join, We are joined now by uh, Michelle Geib with Experience Days, and that is the letter X, experiencedays.com, if you want to find them online. Uh, hello, Michelle. How are you? <laughs> Hi, Randall. I'm I'm good. How are you? Good, and I haven't spoken with you since Thanksgiving. You had a good uh, Thanksgiving and all of that. I I did. I think I'm still full. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right, fantastic. So, uh, we should let people know that if they buy anything that they buy on ExperienceDays.com, even with the uh, promo code, uh, that is good forever, right? That's correct. Yeah. So that uh, you know. And if you don't, if for some reason the people that, let's say you choose a, uh, a parachuting class or something and the people <laughs> and the people get <laughs> get the gift certificate and they're like, parachuting, there's no way I'm jumping out of a plane. No, uh, they can choose to go to the spa instead. <laughs> they can go to the spa instead, right? Yeah. Exactly. Okay, good. So, yeah, all they have to do is contact you guys there at Experience Days and they can swap it out for something else of the same price. Exactly. Uh, very, very cool. All right. So, uh now, Michelle, you're in Colorado, where it is uh, negative temperatures <laughs> <That's correct. laughs> currently. Uh, but uh, here in California, we have we've had some cold weather as well. But off the coast, the humpback whales are moving from Alaska down to their they're smart. They're heading down to their summertime <laughs> winter <laughs> wintering zone off of Baja, California, and into the Sea of Cortez. And along the way, they happened to notice there was a really great feeding zone off of uh, Monterey Bay, San Francisco Bay, and then farther south down into uh, off the coast of San Luis Obispo County. It is ideal whale watching right now. So I went to the Experience Days website just to check and see if you had some whale watching tours. And sure enough, you had several of them, which uh, didn't surprise me at all. Let's start at the far southern end of the state. We'll move up to Monterey, uh, starting with uh, San Diego. What's available there? San Diego, we have two great options. You can either go out on a beautiful um, schooner ship and enjoy uh, a four-hour sail and get to do some whale watching along the way. Or you can go out on a more adventurous cruise, um, an inflatable rib boat. So that rib boat is going to take you out and show you the whales as well. So if you're looking for a little bit more of a high-speed adventure, Mm -hmm. um, the rib boat is your best option. That's $95 a person, and it's offered um, through April 1st daily. And then if you'd like a little bit more of a relaxing cruise, the schooner whale watching is the way to go. And that is also offered through April and is $85 a person before the discount. And those uh, schooner ships, those are the ones with the big sails, right? Exactly. It's a three-masted ship. It's huge, beautiful uh, schooner America is what you'll be sailing on. That'd be fun whale watching or not. Exactly. And and then how do you spell the other one? Did you say a rib? it's boat? a rib. It's yep. It's a rigid inflatable boat. So oh. the the abbreviation is rib. R I B. Okay, and they they go pretty fast, huh? They do. <laughs> so you speed lovers out there, all of you speed demons, uh, that's the one you're going to want. Uh, both of those available in San Diego, and as Michelle mentioned, the uh, prices are pre discount. So uh, 
any any prices you hear on here, remember you still can take fifteen percent off of that, and uh, and you and you'll send things as as a gift card, right? So it looks exactly. it's presented nice uh, nicely to the people who get it. it. Yep, and you can personalize that gift card. We can even send it to you if you'd like to hand deliver it or directly to the gift recipient itself. Nice. All right, let's head to uh, Los Angeles now and uh, whale watching off the L.A. coast. Yep, for this um, whale watching, you're going to go right off Newport Beach, um, and we have a 65-foot boat that you will be traveling on. Um, it has uh, great views. It's about a two-and-a-half-hour sail, and there's this has uh, actually whale watching opportunities year-round. Obviously, this time of year is going to be a little bit better than others. Right. And one of the great parts about this trip is the captain and crew have a lot of um, marine knowledge and can answer any of your questions that you may have. And that's off of Newport Beach there in exactly. Orange County. And then yep. finally, we have to bring it to where all the action is right now, and that is uh, Monterey Bay. And uh, this boat, if I understand correctly, leaves right there from Monterey. It does. It's right out of Fisherman's Wharf, and this is a, a two and a half to three hour cruise uh, at forty dollars a person, and it's a fully narrated tour. You have the opportunity this time of year through April to see the the gray whale migration. You're going to also get to see dolphins, porpoises, um, maybe even some sea turtles and otters. Um, but obviously, this time of year, you're definitely going out to see those whales, and they're there. Yeah, the humpback whales are, I mean, they're literally coming right up to people in kayaks or surfers, whatever, people that just are getting out into the water not far offshore at all. These whales, it shouldn't be missed because it is, as I've been reading in the Chronicle and the uh, Santa Cruz Sentinel and some other papers, it's a -a once-in-a-lifetime experience the way that yeah. these whales are coming in they're that's amazing you're guaranteed <laughs> for the most part to, need some whales. <laughs> yeah to see some now i have been on whale watching uh trips before and they are a lot of fun i went on one out of santa barbara uh to the channel islands and uh the captain called it an okay day so i can't imagine what a great day would be but you know big schools of a dolphin and the the whales uh it's just it's really fun if you've never done it before i highly highly recommend it and then the great thing about the monterey one is when you get back from your tour or before your tour you know you can stroll around cannery row there and have a good time so exactly Michelle Geib, experiencedays.com. Again, that's the letter X and then P-E-R-I-E-N-C-E, days.com. 15% savings. Do not forget the promo code E-D-E. Michelle, as always, thank you so much. Thanks, Randall. All right, everyone. That does it uh, for us today. We love having you here. And uh, you can join us, don't forget, each and every Sunday from... 8 to 10, right here on this very station. I'm your host, Randall White, and we'll catch you later. You've been listening to the Eat, Drink, Explore radio program. If you missed any of our segments today, look for them online or through our free Apple and Android apps. Catch you back right here next week.